iPad Today's Numbers apps are brought to you by Carbonite. Backing up the files on your PC or Mac is safe and easy with Carbonite. For a free trial plus two free months with purchase, go to Carbonite.com. Offer code iPad Today. Today we are talking what for our apps? Well, before we talk about the app theme, yeah. I thought that we would roll um, a voicemail, which we, we haven't rolled in a while. Uh, this one's from Eris, I think her name is, which is a really pretty name. I don't know how to spell it, but uh, she had an idea. It, 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 we don't know. We just know how what it sounds like. Exactly. Got it. Let's listen to Eris and see. Hi, my name is Eris, and I thought maybe you guys should review uh, Numbers games. Um, mm -hmm. There's a really awesome game called Numulus, N-U-M-U-L-U-S, um, and it is just a lot of fun. Uh, and I know that, Sarah, you said that you love numbers, so I thought you might really enjoy it. And, um, yeah, I was also wondering if there were any other games similar to it, because uh, I pretty much turn to your show to find out what's new for the iPad. Okay, thanks so much. Bye-bye. Let me give you a, a plug. You can plug it into the Numulus. We actually don't even need... We don't need to hear... We, is don't, this a, we don't need is to hear... Is it highly musical? Uh, no. It, no, it's not It's not really musical at all. Now, here's... I've got a bone to pick with Eris. Uh, pretty name, but what she's done is she's she's, she's made me you. a bit of a Numulus addict. So, now, so I sat next to you on a plane back from uh, Podcast Expo, and you played that stupid... Uh, Arriving HD. Di dinosaur well, game. you slept on me the whole time. I did. And you only woke, woke up, up at the very end. You and were went, there with the egg <laughs> again. It looks like a good game. So <laughs> this is going to replace that yeah this is um this is a game for anyone who's obsessed with numbers now eris she suggested a numbers i didn't sleep game. on you by the way i was asleep next to you you did one of these a few times did i fall onto you oh i'm so <laughs> sorry oh i'm so that's, that's kind of embarrassing it's okay we all do it I, did it's, I it's, drool? The, it's, the, it's the plain sleep was, was it's i the drooling plain lean. did i actually lean on you it's okay i'm so embarrassed I'm you know so plane seats are very small there's not, there's not i was in the middle you were, you were. Which wasn't good planning. How did on that work? Part. You're like. How did you get in the middle seat? <laughs> I know it was not a good idea. I just looked out the window and played, played my arriving HD. Anyway, Eris. Is this so going to replace this? Numbers uh, apps are fine and good, but I said, okay, you suggested something specific, Numulus. I'll go ahead and download it. Uh, by the way, this is uh, just ninety nine cents, so it seemed easy enough. And now I'm very angry at you, uh -oh. Eris, because I can't stop. Uh -oh. Now let's just go ahead and select the, the alpha level. Let's keep it simple. Now what you have to do is you're adding up numbers. It's maybe like the easiest thing in the world. So medium red is four, small yellow is seven. Four plus seven is 11. Is this for fourth graders? What 11. is the deal here? No, it's it's to go as fast as possible. Small yellow is seven, large green is six, so it's 13. Now, as you can see, I'm getting little bonus score points. At the top is for, what you say is for fourth graders. Yeah. Medium blue and small blue, you're that's doing, eight. You're doing addition. Yeah, I do, I'm doing addition, but it's all about the and time they, of they it. They even give you a the calculator. Timing of it. How else are you? No, it's not a calculator. It's how you would oh, enter it. So it medium doesn't. blue is five plus small blue is three. So that's eight. So so as you can see, like if I were to go, the that that's wrong. And it's okay, timing so, you. So this is you know what it's we talked me. last week about Lumosity about the brain games and all of that. This is actually one of the components in the brain game is timed arithmetic. What is interesting about this is it goes okay. You know I I got seven so far. It goes on forever if you want it to. Yeah. Uh, my best is 216. World's best, oh, 12,400. <laughs> so here's that you go like, well, that this seems, like a, this seems like a really elementary arithmetic game. It is. It is. I'm the that. first person to admit it. It's all about speed. It's uh, like you got to be Rain Man if you want to be good at this game. I and see. I'm nowhere near it, but I want to be. And Do you think you will be if you play it, if you play it a lot? So, you know how we were talking about how I count stairs a couple shows ago? Yes. And you went, that's kind of weird. OCD, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I went, yeah, it is. This is like, it's like a this way to just that? put numbers together for no good reason. I mean, there's this game it doesn't mean anything. You know, I think you you might have, you might like be on Einstein. What's that? Well, he was this physicist who oh, created... Oh, Einstein. The, yeah, you might be a genius with numbers and you just never got challenged at Sebastopol High School. At Annalie? Annalie. They never they never said, Oh, look at that Sarah Lane. She she's the next Well, uh, if you I'm know, a genius, Enrico I'd like Fermi. to know how to apply that to great riches. Well now unfortunately you're stuck doing this numbulous. And I only paid a dollar. So I'm no better or worse, really. No. Uh, I, I and I'm also not a genius. I didn't realize that 
The challenge here was a numbers game. No, it's numbers apps. Number because 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 I I don't have a game. I have an app. Well, that's fine. Uh, in fact, I have a calculator. I think numbers apps might be a little bit limitating. Lim limitating. Limitating <laughs> could be. Not so good with the words. <laughs> no, you're better with numbers. Yes, I've that's noticed true. that about you. But what about these calculator apps? Because you've been talking about these since day one, and I've always went calculator apps. Well, you, the, the iPhone comes with a calculator, but just like the alarm clock, the iPad doesn't come with an alarm clock or the calculator. So here's two. The first one I got is kind of a more traditional calculator. I like the icon. It's, it's 42, but it's called P-Calc. And you know what? I have to zoom out because there's so many buttons there's on There's so this much thing. going on there. This is a very elaborate. Zoom out even more. There's this a, is still, the Texas instrument. Yeah. Well, and in fact, near, you, and it should be for 10 bucks. You have, you know, you have decimal, you have hexadecimal, you have octal, you have binary. So you have all the, look, you can calculate in ones and zeros. Um, it has uh, lots of uh, conversions built into it, volume, weight, area, bytes, even cooking conversions, which, I, you know, actually, this is one of the few things I, I actually use. Um, you have a tape, which I think any good calculator is going to have a tape, so that when you do 2 plus 2 equals 4, you, the tape keeps track of that, and you can do another calculation, and the previous calculation is still there and can be brought back in. Of course, it has lots yeah. of memory. Here's the registers. So if you're used to, a, you know, an HP-style RPN calculator, you can, you can kind of turn it into that as well. Um, RPN mode, as, as I said, reverse Polish notation. Uh, multiple memories, thousands, separators, number of decimal places. There's different themes. You can do normal. We're in the normal calculator. There's also a scientific and an engineering calculator. This is the calculator. It's like a, it's like a browser with a bunch of add-ons and <laughs> it is, history. It is very, very but, powerful. But it's a calculator. If you, if you need a calculator that's kind of calculator-like, this is a great choice. Now, that's pcalc. Uh, and it's not free. I think it's... Uh, what, it's 10 bucks. It's pretty expensive, yeah. Yeah, so and you really got to want it. Here's here's a, here's a There's PCALC, and I believe it's iPhone and iPad, but anyway, it's definitely iPad, as you can see. Um, this is something a little less expensive. It's only uh, $3.99, $4, and it's something that is maybe a little more appropriate for somebody who doesn't need all the power of PCALC. It's called Solver, S-O-U-L-V-E-R. So that's kind of like Solver, but with a little soul. Yeah. Yeah. So it's got like functions. Like a Marvin Gaye calculator. It's got percentages. It's got variables. It's got named variables. And you can even write in Solver, you can even write your calculations out. There's, you know, you can, it's, it's more, it's more for like, uh, you know, people who want to like type out their calculations this is a very, and by the way, this is nice. This is the elaborate help menu, which gives you a lot of information on using it and so forth. You can write things like $50 times three people or income 50K minus 20K tax. You can use words. It turns them into variables. So it's kind of a little bit like a spreadsheet in that respect. So it's like good for accounting. Yeah. For super accountant types. You're right. And I could turn, so you got to turn on the keyboard so you can actually write plain English calculations. It's always in tape mode, so it always will remember them. Uh, it has many of the same functionality uh, as as uh, pcalc, but less in a than little half bit, the price. Yeah, though, it's cheaper, bucks. and it, well, if if you need pcalc, you need pcalc. But this is in a little bit of a more of a human format. Yeah. You can write your your problems that way. Now, this is my favorite for just playing with calculations. You know about Wolfram Alpha, right? I do, but I have never played with it on the iPad. In fact, I hadn't even thought about it, Leo. Well, you know, you don't really need an application, and it's funny because uh, they actually charge uh, for Wolfram Alpha. It's a dollar ninety-nine. I'm sorry, three ninety-nine. No, a dollar ninety-nine. I can't read today. Dollar. It's a dollar ninety-nine. Yeah. Two bucks. Um, so you don't. You you could just do the web page for this. You don't mm -hmm. ac absolutely need to uh, buy $2. this, but it does. It's kind of more fun. By the way, look at all the symbols. You can actually fill <laughs> fill the screen with a keyboard for all the weird symbols. But it also uh, gives you some browsing capabilities. So it'll give you an idea. One of the problems with Wolfram Alpha is it looks like Google, but it's not. It looks like a calculator maybe, but it's not. So I'm just going to enter in the names of three countries, Norway, Sweden, and Finland. And it's going to show me all sorts of different relationship things uh, related to the three countries. Um, Why do you think Wolfram Alpha got so much attention uh, for such a short amount of time? Because people don't like to think in terms of numbers. 
Is it because they wanted it to be a browser and they don't really get? I think they wanted it to be a different kind of Google, and it's yeah, not. It's not it's, at all. It's really um, an, a knowledge engine. Here, I'm going to plot a graph. See, students are going to love this. Now, this isn't going to this. You can use this to solve problems, but it's really more for you to explore mathematics and the relationships of data, not just math, but uh, certainly because of. Um, Mathematica, which was uh, Wolfram's uh, first product. There's a lot of Mathematica in this. But just just, some, just do some of these searches because it's, it's kind of fun. I'm going to write International Space Station in, in here, for instance. Now, that would be a typical Google search, but it wouldn't. Google wouldn't necessarily take no. you right to the current position of the International Space Station, no. um, which is there. It's current orbital information. All numbers-based. Yeah, it's information based. The idea is instead of just um, searching for web pages with information in them, it actually does. It gives you it gives you kind of analysis of it. It's hard to describe, and I think this is one of the reasons. Here, I'm entering in an ISBN number, uh, and it's going to tell me the barcode for it. It's going to let me search the web for that particular uh, book. Carbon footprint information here. What's the carbon footprint of coal? I, I don't, don't know. If you don't do anything any else idea. but just browse through this, the, the suggestions. It's uh, fun to get lost in. The examples are great, but, but you don't have to only do the examples. You can, you can really have a lot of fun as you get more knowledgeable about what questions it can answer and, and how to pose those questions. I think Wolfram Alpha is such a great example of when people say, well, you never use this math in real life. Oh, yeah, you say, but you Actually, do. Actually, it's everywhere. Yeah. It's in everything. Here's, here's one. Am I too drunk to drive? That, that's the query that you'd give Wolfram Alpha. It says, first, this is how it interpreted it. Uh-huh, blood alcohol. Okay, number of drinks, two, time, one hour, body weight, 140 pounds, male. And here's, you know, the time plot. And then you can add, change the input values to say, well, no, in fact, I've had... One drink. You know, one drink, uh, or let's say... Uh, five drinks, and uh, in fact, uh, I've, in I've, 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 I weigh a little bit more. Let's let's put the actual weight in here: two hundred twenty-eight pounds. I I know it's kind of embarrassing, but I'm going to be honest here and go. Well, you're six five. Yeah, so I'm, I'm I'm actually just short for my weight. It's all distributed. And then it's going to tell me, oh dear, you are in fact over the legal driving limit here. <laughs> yeah, that, and you it's might also be dead. It's going to take two hours before I'll get just below the legal driving limit. So there's the time plot, the number of drinks. I mean, it's just little things like that. A calculator isn't going to give you this kind of understanding. I love it's it. It's going to give you the numbers, but, but, but you need to know, for instance, it shows you what the legal driving limit is here. It's almost like a Wikipedia that's number-based, but you control it. Yeah. You're not just looking at a bunch of informational pages. It's an interactive experience. You just had a birthday. Life did, expectancy yes. for a female aged 30 years, you should live to 81.7 years. What? Oh, no, no, no. The, the women in my family live a lot longer than that. But, I'm 100. You know, really? You think so? Because your probability oh, yeah. of dying before the age of 100 is 96.4% right now. But you see, the longer you live, the longer you live. Well, my grandma is about to turn ninety nine. Wow! I know. It's so you're going to be. Ridiculous. You're going to. You got a lot. And of my longevity. mom is like. She's I, like eighty already. If she, yeah. No. I know. No, she's not. <laughs> she's. But she, I mean, you can just tell. You know how you can just tell. It's like Sorry, nothing's going to happen. You're just going to get older and older and older, and nothing's going to go wrong with you, and you're just going to be this really old, healthy woman. So here's another thing. And that's you, what's going to happen with me. If <laughs> a little if you, little raisin woman. Do you know what your blood little raisin woman? You know what your blood pressure is? It's good. <laughs> 120 over 80. Okay, let's put that in here. So, so we can do that too. One wasn't during the Giants game last 20, night. Oh, tell wasn't you that exciting? Woo. Yeah. And by Woo. the time people see this, the Giants will have already won the World Series, and Clayton Morris will have been humiliated on Twit. So uh, I'm going to enter. So. Yeah, I'm going to enter that in. Okay, go. Now let's see if 120 over 80. Let's just see how good that is. So uh, I don't know what this all means, but you can. I mean. Look at all the stuff you get. So that's Wolfram Alpha. So there's three. These are all calculators with different kind of benefits. Wolfram Alpha, buck ninety nine. PC Calc, ten dollars. Solver, uh, three dollars. And all very different. All very different. Different functionality. You kind of have to be the judge of which one you need. But you, I think you should have a calculator on your iPad. And if you uh, if you like any of these calculators, of course you can get the links at twit.tv/ipt. That's also our the the URL to just our 
podcasts, uh, episodes in general. This yeah. episode, our quinceanera, or any of the 14 before that. We have Because they're all very good. Yeah, you should have them all on your iPad and just watch them. I agree. Over and over. And yeah, over watch, watch them any way you like. Um, of course, if you want to subscribe to our shows, you can do that too. Twit.tv slash IPT. You can also write us with theme ideas of your own, like Eris. And I hope I'm saying your name right. It's such a pretty name. That's how she said it. Eris. Yeah. It's like maybe Welsh or something. It is a form of Android phone, the Droid Eris. Mm. Maybe she's named after the phone. Probably. Yeah, or the yeah. phone's named after her. She's just a very mature infant. <laughs> <laughs> iPad Today brought to you today by our friends at Carbonite. Carbonite.com is the place to go if you need a backup solution. And you know what? What? You need a backup solution. Uh, and it's not enough just to be backing up to DVDs or a USB key or an external drive right next to your computer. Because what if the worst happens? There's fire, a flood, a tornado, and you lose not only your main data, but you also lose your backup. Oh, it Think about me, what's on your computer. Your, makes me ill. Your, your pictures of, of your baby pictures, your, your family pictures, your wedding photos, all of that stuff. It would be horrendous to lose it. And, and you know, hard drives die. You're going to lose the hard drive. Let's not lose the data, too. Here's how Carbonite works. You can go right now, uh, try it for two weeks free. Carbonite.com. Use the offer code iPad today. Carbonite.com. Uh, download it, install it. Immediately, it uses the Internet to start backing up. It'll back up your personal files, an unlimited number of personal files from an internal drive. Uh, you don't have to worry about how much data. It's 55 bucks a year for as much as you can you know, have on your internal drive and free for the first two weeks just so you can see how it works. Um, anytime you lose a file, accidentally delete it or lose the whole computer, you log on to your Carbonite.com account from anywhere using any web browser. There's your files. You can get them right away. They even have an iPad app free and a BlackBerry app free as well. Uh, if you want to buy it, if you after you try it for the two weeks, and please, I, I always encourage people to try before they buy, but after you try it for the two weeks, uh, you can buy it and use iPad Today as the offer code. You'll save the first two months will be free. iPad Today, the offer code. The place to go, Carbonite, C-A-R-B-O-N-I-T-E, Carbonite.com. It's, it's, it's backup done right. You know, and you, you actually back up your, in effect, you'll be backing up your iPad as long as you sync with iTunes. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, you know, and I hope people are at least syncing once a week because that's the backup for that's, your stuff. Right. And then when your hard drive's backed up, you'll get all the iTunes data. I've lost, um, not the iPad, but an iPhone after not sure. backing up for a long time because I just didn't think about it. I was yeah. plugging into the wall and not uh, not actually syncing. And boy, was I upset. I lost pictures I'll never get back. Super caller, bummer. I've mentioned this before. I had a caller on the radio show whose dog died. And he said, I ha all the pictures I have of my dog mm -hmm. are on this, on this phone. And it, it died, too. A couple of months later, I said, yeah, sorry. You can't get it back. you got to be uh, connecting up your iPad uh, every... I would do it every day. Instead of charging on the wall, charge on the it's laptop. A, yeah, exactly. If you got to charge, just go that right. way, and then you're safer. Right. Carbonite, we thank you.